Well, how about a current event for you? Next weekend, the Buffalo Bill Museum of Leclerc is kicking off the first of its Women in History Tea Parties. Tickets are $25 per person, and the first meeting, which will be a Grasshopper Gatherings event center on Saturday, May 11th, will be all about the so-called Harvey Girls. Now, during the teas, presenters and museum hosts will be dressed in 19th century period clothing, and while it's not required, guests are encouraged to do so as well. Here to talk about this is Executive Director of the Buffalo Bill Museum, Rita Farrow. Rita, thank you so much for being here with us. It's fun to get dressed up, Shelby. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Oh, we're so happy to have you here. Why don't we start with the Harvey Girls. Who are they? The Harvey Girls. I think this story is so interesting. And first of all, Fred Harvey, who he was, Ray Kroc, who went to McDonald's. That's what Fred Harvey was to restaurants after the Civil War. He realized railroads now went all the way across the country, but what didn't go across the country was good food. Mm. Once you got west of the Mississippi, there was pretty much hardtack and boiled coffee. So he decided to start restaurants, but he couldn't get helpers. Well, he hired a lot of men. That was the job at the time, waiters. But they were constantly getting drunk or leaving them up high and dry. So he put an ad in all the eastern big cities and said, wanted, you couldn't do this today, wanted attractive young women between the ages of 18 and 30, oh, single, they made $17.50 a month, and they, they couldn't pick their place, but he, thousands of young women went to work in Fred Harvey, Harvey House restaurants. Wow. And it was white linen service. It was, he was famous for his coffee. He served things like filet of sole, filet mignon, prime rib dinners, all on Irish linen. And it was kind of an amazing story, but the Harvey girls settled the West. Wow. Yeah, and it's not a story that I've ever heard about. I had never up. heard about it either. But they ended up, and of course they married cowboys, ranchers, railroad workers, and they ended up being the moms, the wives, the teachers, really the backbone of the American West. Will Rogers said the Harvey girls fed the West and, be, and married the West. Wow. <laughs> so, wow. yeah, that's who they were. So when people come to the Tea Party, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, they're going to learn about the Harvey girls, and what else can they expect? Carol Keneally is our speaker, and she's actually going to be wearing an, a replica of a Harvey girl uniform. Wow. And I've seen her program. It's really interesting. And they'll get apple pie. And just like in the old days, Fred Harvey, the reason, they only had 30 minutes to feed people when they got into the station. So there was a coffee code. So if your coffee cup was up, that meant you wanted coffee. If it was turned down, that meant you wanted tea. Mm. So our visitors are going to have their choice of coffee or tea and apple pie. I'm calling it the all-American apple pie American history tea. Well, Rita, we got to invite you back here more if you're going to keep bringing pie here to the studio. <laughs> there is pie, Shelby. <laughs> well, can you give us a sneak peek about what some of the other topics are going to be at future Women in History Tea? And we haven't posted it yet, but January 8th, we're going to have a topic on Victorian lingerie. Oh. And I think we have some, and some of the Donna Wally and some of the other uh, storekeepers and LeClaire are going to participate and do a fashion show, period clothing fashion show. We also have a, the Shameless Chocoholic. Oh, yes. <laughs> We did bring chocolate as well as pie, Shelby. You're such a good guest. So, <laughs> so there's going to be some caramels at the tea this weekend, and that'll be a part of every weekend. And then the Buffalo Gals, who ever heard of them? Yes. I'm still learning about them, Shelby. Don't <laughs> ask me anything. <laughs> well, what we can talk about going along with Buffalo is what this is raising money for. What this is raising money for is the Buffalo Bill Wild West show. The Buffalo Bill Museum is bringing him home. And so on June 29th and 30th, it's going to be the largest show that they've done in 10 years. Wow. And we understand there's 30 cowboys. They're all going to be riding horses. They do trick riding, trick shooting. And we're going to have music to both days up at Cody School, June 29th and 30th. And um, so that we're ramping up for that. It's a lot. It's, it's, it's a big endeavor to bring them into town in this big of a way. But Pleasant Valley Schools has just been wonderful. And so we're, the, it's going to be up at the grounds. The Cowboys set up and live in a boom town for the two days that they're in mm. town. And there's going to be lots of people dressed in period costume. Wow. On that weekend, all over LeClaire. It's going to be their 190th birthday party. Oh, my gosh. Big celebration. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so the Best of the Wild West is happening this June. But before then, yep. you can go to this tea party, help raise money for this. Before I yes. let you go, how late can people get their tickets? Oh, up until the event. We have a new ticketing platform. And... So please go on and buy the ticket. You'll also get on a waiting list if the event's sold out. Awesome. Rita, thank you so much for dropping by today. Thank you, Shelby. It was so much fun. <laughs> for you guys at home, the first Women in History Tea will be next Saturday at 3 p.m. in LeClaire. For more information or a link to tickets, you can head over to our website and click on the As Seen on TV tab.